Hey, what's up everybody? This is Domingo with you. Hope you're doing fantastic. Now, this is not a normal upload that I normally do, but I recently watched a video from a YouTuber that I've been watching over 12 years, and uh, his name is Corey SMP Films, and he announced that after many, many years on YouTube, he is leaving the platform. Now, notice I said leaving the platform, but not stopping as a creator, because Nobody can truly stop as a creator because if they enjoy creating videos, then it's something that they'll stick with for a while. But if a platform doesn't allow certain things to be shown on their site, then it causes the problems for a creator to be that they're not welcomed or they just don't feel like they belong to the community. But I've seen Corey's videos for the last 12 years. He's been on YouTube longer, but... I discovered him like a year after I joined YouTube like it was in like 2006 that I officially joined YouTube and didn't make my own videos until early or later 2006 and then I wanted to get started on YouTube and one of the first videos that I watched was a tutorial on how to get more views and subscribers from Corey and he made this tutorial where he simplified it and he talked about how subscribers are like a certain part of it and collaborations are important and also just the general information on YouTube but since YouTube has changed a lot it has been it's been pretty interesting to say the least and he talks about this uh, robot that regulates the content that's shown now a lot of people that have been hit by this YouTube robot or just the whole algorithm their creativity is thrown out. It's lost. It's gone. They don't want people to post content that doesn't fit their criteria. And don't get me wrong. I mean, I like YouTube as a platform, but for my fellow creators out there, it's hard to make something and to produce content and for YouTube to just shut it down because it doesn't meet their guidelines. Now, I know why the guidelines are in place and I know why they're doing this. But think about all those creators that YouTube is not putting out there. They're bottling up those people that YouTube thinks that are too edgy or too, too creative. They just want to stick with a certain template. Now, I know that I've made videos before where I express my creativity, but I learned how to adapt to the, the changes of YouTube because I myself needed to adapt because there's a lot of things in my life right now that I have stopped doing on YouTube because of things in my life that are changing. Like, I have a family now, and I have a son, and I have lots of things going on. And this video that I saw just made me realize that YouTube is a great platform still, but it's a platform meant for people that want to be a creator that YouTube wants them to be. Now, I know that doesn't make sense to some people, but YouTube is very picky when it comes to picking creators now. Now, there are a lot of great creators that do really well with their content and work really hard and produce just some of the best content on YouTube, and good for them. They're doing awesome by leaps and bounds, and they're getting traction and all that wonderful stuff. But there are some creators that have been on the platform very long and that don't get the recognition, and that when they do get some recognition, it's not the recognition they want. It's them, it's, it's YouTube saying, oh, we're demonetizing you because your content affects certain people, certain groups, and certain beliefs, and certain people. Like, it just doesn't make sense. I mean, I don't think YouTube is a bad platform. I think YouTube is a great platform, but it can be better. And it can celebrate more content creators. Like, the changes that YouTube has made are... They were immense, like the adpocalypse, the uh, 1,000 subscriber, 400,000 hour watch time requirements, just all those things on YouTube have been a factor for a lot of content creators leaving. And for the fact that it's hard work to get to that certain place to become a YouTube partner or just to make it to that certain point, it discourages a lot of people. Now, it took me over 12 years to get to a point where I have a certain number of subscribers or that I can make some benefit 
for people. Like, I mean, my videos are mostly explainer videos that help people in what they need to do. Like, they want to get started on YouTube, great. If they want to, like, make thumbnails from paint, great. That's why people are searching my stuff. And I wanted to keep it that way because I don't want YouTube to think that I'm not a good content creator. Now, the content that I make is educational and informational. Like, it just... It, it's just for what people want to see. And in doing so, I kept an even playing field where my content is getting traction, it is getting noticed, but for regular uploads like this, none of my subscribers will watch my content. And that's just the truth. Because I looked at my YouTube analytics, the most traffic that I get is from people that are not subscribed to me. And the people that have subscribed to me, thank you for subscribing, by the way, I appreciate it. But my subscribers don't make up how I get my views anymore. And that's just the thing. Everybody has a lot going on in their lives. Like if they're stressed out or if they got some something going on, they don't have time to watch some of these videos unless they want to. And I don't want people to subscribe to me if they don't want to watch my videos. If they don't want to watch my videos, then they can just not subscribe. Or if they want to watch, they can just click on it and watch. And then if it helps them, if they can leave a comment. And if it doesn't help them, then they can just find something else. That's what YouTube is about. You can just click on something and then you're like, oh, I don't like this. Pick something else. That's what YouTube is there for. And that's what YouTube is still about to me. And you can pick whatever you want to watch. It just doesn't appeal to everybody. And I'm trying to look at the lens here because it's a weird orientation set up here. So I'm not ignoring you. I'm just, my eyes just wander. But for those that are still on the YouTube platform and that are still doing YouTube, don't give up. And if you feel that the platform is not working out for you, then you can find another platform while sticking to YouTube. I mean, YouTube will probably make some big change that will promote better growth for other channels. But right now, I don't want to leave this platform. And I shouldn't leave this platform because of the potential opportunities that I could receive. And I have received a lot of help from people over the years I've been on YouTube and a lot of support. And just because, just because I don't post enough nowadays doesn't mean I'm going to be active in commenting and subscribing and liking new channels. There's a lot of new channels that I haven't seen on YouTube yet. And that's the big thing. It's great that content is still being made on YouTube. And it's freaking awesome that people are still doing YouTube and doing what they love and sticking with the platform. And for those that are sticking with the platform, good on you. And it takes a lot of mental health, it takes a lot of guts, it takes a lot of blood, sweat, and tears to make that content. And it is not easy. It is just the hardest thing that you could ever do as a YouTuber. Like, I'm not an OG YouTuber, but I started like in 2006 when YouTube started becoming a thing. So in closing, I just wanted to say to Corey that you do you. You do what you do best. And... I've always admired your content and your passion and your drive and your creativity, but you need to focus on your mental health as well. And for you to articulate that so well, I'm sure it wasn't easy to say to everybody because there's a lot of people that enjoy your content and that your audience is not as there as it was in the early days where everybody was watching and that how you got all these perks to being a YouTuber that was original. And I don't know if you're going to watch this, but... I just want you to know that you've been a big part of me starting out on YouTube. You've given me the foundation to start knowing, finding out how to edit videos and to start learning about YouTube and to start collaborating with people. And the experiences that I have had years prior, I owe it to you, Corey. And I want to thank you for that. And um, you've just been a big part of my YouTube life. And I hope to see you on your new platform. And I would love to see your work on that new platform or another platform. And I would love to see that because you've just been such a big part of my YouTube life. And I want to know what's going on, not in a creepy stalker way, because I, I have a son too. I have a son and he takes up a lot of my time. He's uh, about five. He'll be four months. He's four months old. And he's just the cutest little thing that you that you'll ever see. And he was in a few of my videos, but just in the backside, I don't want to show his face. Well, I, you can see his... Never mind. Just wanted to say thank you, Corey, for helping me become a YouTuber. 
and for me to just keep pushing through and to keep adapting to things and just to keep on. And even though I don't post as much, like I said before, you've been a big part of it. And I wanted to thank you. And also to my subscribers or whoever watches this, thank you again for watching. And uh, don't forget that there are things in this life that will be hard, but if you keep sticking with it, then it'll come, you'll come through. So everybody, thank you so much for watching. And next week will be another video on Money Making Monday. And I'm looking forward to getting to know you. So if you've made it to the end of this video, you've done me a great service. And I have a question for you. When did you start on YouTube and are you still sticking with it? So that's my question to you. Leave it in the comments below and I'll see you next time for another video. Peace out.